Hey, baby, and welcome back, everybody. Welcome back here to Resident Rise 3. Huzzah! We are back, and we are ready to get some stuff done. So let's get to it, guys, shall we? Um, as you guys know, the last episode, I set up this kick-ass farming station, and it is doing well. So this isn't a fair rep representative of what it's created since I've made it. If you look over here, this gives you kind of a better idea. Look at all that. Look at all that. I made all that with this little old doodad here. I think the only thing that I added to it was I put a little chest to put sapphire hose in. And that way when the sapphire hose run out, it then sticks another one in there. And I'm always getting tons and tons of delicious doodads and whatnot. So I've got tons of stuff. Um, what I've been doing with it, and I'll show you here real quick. I'll take some of this gold. Uh, essence that I've created and we're gonna turn it into gold ore like that and what I've been trying to do with it is trying to get the most out of it so you know I have my ender um, I think this is a sag mill this is an ender IO sag mill and this is an ender IO alloy smelter I've been using this to duplicate my ores but what I've been doing with the gold ore is I have been taking it up here and if you guys look this was a reinforced pulverizer from Thermo Expansion. It's a little more complicated to make, but what you get with the reinforced pulverizer is you get extra augment capacities. Um, basically, you have to make these things and put them in here, and you can't make the next tier unless the first tier is installed. So with this first tier, I get plus 11% secondary chance. With the second one, I get plus 33%, and if this was a resonant pulverizer, I could get like up to 88%. So what I've been doing is I've been sticking my gold ore in here, and by doing so, the secondary chance for it is Cinnabar. So um, instead of putting it through the machine downstairs, I'm putting it through this just because I want to get some of the Cinnabar. Because with the Cinnabar, we can get a better chance of getting pulverized shiny metal when we um, process our ferrous ores. So anyway, that's why I've been putting it through here. It's it's more of a slow process, but I get a 33% chance to get a cinnabar. And that'll come in handy later, and we'll get to that at some point. Um, eventually, I would like to get some, um, what do you call it, resonant metal? What is that stuff called? Res Let's look it up. Is it called resonant something or other? <laughs> I don't know. It's been so long since I've messed with Tinker's Construct, I don't even know anymore. But basically, it's the stuff that you make Tesseracts out of. So if we type in Tesseract, we will get a better understanding. Here it is. It's Enderium. I don't know why I was calling it Resonant. I think sometimes it's called Resonant, whatever. When you make stuff out of Enderium, it's called Resonant. Whatchamacallit. I don't know. But anyway, we get a better chance of getting this stuff, and that's what you need to make a Tesseract frame and other things in Tinker's, not Tinker's, Thermal Expansion Construct Kebab. So yeah, cool. So that's what I've been doing with my riches. Um, what I need to do down here, um, I need to make a, a couple of seeds for copper and a couple of seeds for tin. And then I think I'll have my bases all rounded out because I've got tons of this iron, which I could take right now. And look at, look at this. This is great, guys. Screw mining. Look at that. 64 iron just by screwing around a little bit it's great where did that other little bit go i don't know but anyway we'll just take this shove it in this chest and it will get on its way to duplicating through our sag meal our sag meal it's our sag meal and our alloy smelter so yep cool that's all done and probably what we should do is let's check out the list here of what we want to get done I love how these lists now hang on the wall. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, this is, how do I get it down? Shift click? There we go. If you shift click it, you can get it down. This is the clipboard from Bibliocraft, and I've got my to-dos on here. Um, a couple of them, and I'm not sure if we're going to get to these first two, is I would like to turn, uh, what is it called, Batania Mana into energy, into redstone flux and we, we can make a little doodad to do that. Um, eventually I would like to get a quarry going and what's weird about the, that is I, that is actually I don't care about it anymore now that I got these cheaty cheaty magical crop seeds making ores for me but there are still a few things I need to build craft quarry for. Um, for one thing I need to get essence ore that way 
but we'll put this back on the wall. Let's go ahead to number three here that says mana cookies. Um, as you guys can see, my magical food is very quickly running out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, actually I'm gonna put it in my satchel as an emergency source of food. And then we're going to make some mana cookies. So first thing you gotta make to make mana cookies is of course cookies. Pretty simple to make. I went and got myself some cocoa beans and I've been farming those. Holy crap, I didn't think it'd make that much. Okay, got tons of cookies. Tons and tons of cookies. Okay, I, I think I only need a stack right now. And what I can do with this is dark out. Let's go, let's go take a sleep. Let's take a sleep. I wish I could actually show you what these cookies do hunger wise, but as you can see, my hunger is full. Um, what you do is you take some cookies, you throw them in a mana pool like this. I'm just going to throw 32 and they take a lot of mana. My goodness, they take a lot of mana. But these are the most saturating food that I know of. They're really easy to use. Um, they just take a ton of mana. So there's a, there's a little bit of a thing there, but these, like your hunger could be down to zero. You eat one of these and it's all the way up again. It's super awesome. It's a super great food. And let's see if I can tick this off. There we go. We ticked off mana cookies. Now, I guess the next thing we want to do here, if we get our face right up in this list, is we want to work on making some Terra Steel. Terra Steel is going to get us better armor. Um, it's going to help us go to the elven world and collect doodads. But the first thing we need to make is this thing. This is a terrestrial agglomeration plate. It takes three lapis blocks, it takes a block of mana steel, and it takes all of these runes. So basically all the things. You can look it up in any eye or you can pull out the book either way. And then you have to place it on a configuration like this. And I think that's right. I'm going to pull out the book and double check because I don't trust myself. Um, so let's take a look at this. Uh, let's see here. Natural apparatus. Do you think that's it? That could be it. No, that's not it. Let's see here. Mystical items, maybe? Maybe? We've got an assembly halo. Terra steel. Hold on. I might be able to check it by doing this, right? If I shift click on this, there we go. Yeah, so that looks right. So we need living rock, lapis lazuli blocks, and a terrestrial agglomeration plate. And then on top of that, we're going to have to throw a mana pearl, a mana steel ingot, and a mana diamond all on top of this thing. And then we have to supply it with a butt ton of mana. And the best way I know to do that is to use a spark. If you guys don't know how to make sparks, we'll just look that up here real quick. Sparks. Sparks are really handy things. They basically put mana where you need it, and they have a couple of upgrade options, but we won't get into that. Um, basically, they kind of distribute mana around where it needs to be, and the recipe is kind of expensive in the sense that it requires blaze powder, but they're totally worth it, and if you have a bunch of mana pools next to one of these guys, you can stick that on top, and it, instead of using the mana spreaders to get mana to the terrestrial agglomeration plate, that is a mouthful, um, you can just use these sparks, and it should do just the same. So cool. I think we're about ready to start making some mana steel. Um, we'll just grab this, that, and that, get this ready in our inventory like so, and let's see if this works. I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. Just chuck them on there, you get, whoa, look at that. See, that's what the sparks are doing. They're distributing the mana where it needs to go. And here we go. We did it. We got our Dancer in the Dark achievement, and look at all of these beautiful fireworks. I love it. I love it! Okay, let's make more. Um, that didn't use nearly as much as I thought it would. We're going to take our ring of magnetization off. And Q, Q, Q. Very good. Oh, urgh. it's hard to do this and not pick it up at the same time. There you go, Q. And we'll just run back real quick so we don't accidentally pick it up. And that will make us yet another Terra Steel ingot. Now, Terra Steel is the coolest stuff ever. It's a little bit of a pain to make, but as you can see, it's not too bad, guys. Yeah. I mean, it's going to eat all of this mana, but we have a pretty good mana system going on here. And I think it's not going to be a problem what's whatsoever. So, cool. I'm going to make one more, and then we're going to do some stuff with these thingamiboppers. Ideally, I want a whole suit of Terra Steel armor. It's pretty awesome. Each one of the armor things gives you extra hearts. And it's about the equivalent of diamond armor. So there we go. We got four 
Terra Steel ingots. Um, let's see in here. Oh, I don't know if I've showed you guys this. So you remember we were making flowers with the jaded Armathethith? Let's see, let's pull it out here real quick. We were making flowers with this guy. This guy. <laughs> this guy right here, the jaded Armathethith, or Amaranthus. So if I put it down, it should start pooling mana out of these mana pools over here. It might be out of range. Yeah, I think that's out of range. If we put it right there, there we go. As you can see, there's a magical flower. There's a magical flower. They're starting to pop up everywhere. And what I've been doing is with the Horn of the Wild, which is right here, um, you can use the Horn of the Wild to actually pick the flowers like that. And if we put our little fancy ring on, the flowers will come right to us. And if flowers go into your inventory while you're holding this thing called a flower pouch, Look at that, it holds all the magical flowers. How cool is that? That is super cool, I like that a lot. So anyway, that's enough of that. Just a bunch of flowery nonsense. But there we go, flowers. I'm actually gonna throw my cocoa beans in here and we'll put this and this up. I wanna grab some of this living wood. I wanna grab some of this and let's go ahead and make ourselves the best sword ever in the game. Maybe it's just me who thinks this. But we just need a living wood twig, and we need two pieces of terra steel. And look at that, guys. We get the terra blade. It only does seven damage. Honestly, my osmium cutlass does more. But this guy has a ranged attack. Oh! I love watching the fireworks. You know, I love that they put this little achievement doodad thing in here. It makes me feel like I've done something with my life. <laughs> Instead of just playing video games all the time. But anyway, with this sword, look at that. You get these little mana bursts every once in a while, and that is a ranged attack. So no need for like, no need for a bow or anything like that. You just spam your sword, and look at that. That's great. I love it. Okay, so now we've got our awesome, what do you call it, Terra Blade, and it has the same properties where it won't take any damage as long as you have mana in your system. Terra Blade's cool. Terra Blade's very cool. So next thing we want to make. Um, Let's see if I can even do this. I have eight of these. And if we do that, we're going to make ourselves an Elven Gateway Core. Now, I'm going to need to make myself a bit more living wood, which is kind of a pain. But let's go ahead and get that started. If I could find my axe, we're just going to borrow some wood from here real quick. And we're going to shove it on these flowers. Because, you know, we need this stuff. And I thought I had enough, but I didn't. I didn't have enough at all. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to make the Elven Gateway. I don't know if we have enough Terra Steel to make the Mana Pylons, but we're going to attempt it. But what I can do in the meantime, while we're waiting for that wood to get ready, is I can set up this. Now, the Elven Gateway is a special thing. It's a very special thing, and we're just going to leave it at that. It's just a special thing, guys. But with it, we can get more... Basically, it opens a dimensional portal to the elf world, and you can throw things into the portal, and they're like, ooh, and then they, 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 they're so thankful that they throw stuff back at you, and you get, to, you get to play with it. It's pretty cool. But it's another tier of materials that you can use here in Batania. Let's check out our wood situation. These guys have not turned yet, but while we're waiting for that, I could show you over here... This thing, Monkey Puzzle told me about this. Let's go ahead and pull up Wayla. It's called a fish trap, and this is about the damn cheatiest thing I've ever seen. So let's pull it up real quick. It basically fishes for you. You don't have to do nothing. It is so easy to make. Look how easy this is to make. It just takes a lead and string and sticks, or wood, I guess. And it creates a fish trap, and it will sit here without any energy or anything at all and fish for you. Look at this. This thing's full. I didn't even know it was full. If we do that, what do we get? We just got a bunch of stuff in here. It's pretty cool. What's in here? A lily pad. I love lily pads. Actually, this might be worth it just for the lily pads. Let's see. We got a haste 2 and paleontology 3. I don't even know what that does, but that is so cool. I love the haste 2. That's going to be helpful on a pair of boots for us. But let's see what we got here. Ooh, it, was, it does indeed look like our living wood has, has changed 
into the next thing. So we're going to dig it up here real quick and complete our elven gateway. But then we've got to make something else. We're going to look it up in the book here real quick. And I think this is correct. But this is the pattern you want to make. And then I'm going to need, and I doubt I have the materials for this. Actually, I do. Actually, I do. They're right here. Let's go ahead and pull it up in the book. Let's take a look at it. It's always a good idea. A lot of times I do this stuff by memory, and it always bites me in the butt. So let's go all the way back. Let's go to Alphomancy, Portal to Alfheim. Click, click, click. So this is what we made before. This is the Elven Gateway Core. Um, we need to make two of these things called Natura Pylons, and it requires one piece of Terra Steel, and it also requires two things called Mana Pylons. That is gold, Terra Steel, that, and a diamond. So let's take a look in here and see if we got enough to do this. We're going to need to get some gold. That is for dang sure. So, ooh-wee, let's get some gold. And we should have enough diamonds out there to get this done. But let's see. Um, here's some of that. And let's just type in pylon. And maybe we can just shift click this in. Ooh, we can make four of them. I only need two. Thank you very much. And then we're going to do the Natura Pylon. Boom. Very cool. Okay, so we've got the Natura Pylon. Um, I kind of want to grab some of these mana tablets out of here too. And now we need to see where we place these things. So, let's go back to Alphamancy. Portal to Alphime. Bloop, 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 bloop. Alright, so we did that. We did that. That is the glimmering wood, which is just living wood and glowstone. That is telling us where to put the elven gateway core. And then from this corner block, we go out one, two, and then up one, right? So one, two, and then up one. So this is kind of crap. Actually, I think it's, let's look at it again. So from this corner, which is right there, one, two, and then up one. So it's right here. Um, not the best placement in the world. I may end up moving this, but for now, we're just going to put up with it. We're going to do that. I'm going to take off my little bobble ring so that I can throw this down. And then we're going to go here. We go one, two, and then up one, right? And then I'm going to throw another little mana tableau on there. Get those good and filled up. Now, ideally, a lot of people build this one above the ground level. I kind of like the idea of building it a little under so you could actually like walk right through it. But, you know, to each his own. Alright, that looks like enough. That looks like enough. And then if we put the Natura Pylon there and there, we should be good to go. And with a little tap of our wand, there we go. We got the portal to Alfheim. We got a whole new achievement. Oh my goodness, so much stuff getting done today, baby. So let's, the first thing you want to do is you want to take your Lexica Batania, throw it right through, and then the elves go, we don't want that garbage, and they throw it right back at you. Um, and now you got this new passage telling you all of the awesome stuff that you can use this elven gateway portal for. So um, the one thing you want to do is you want to get some resources from the nether. So one thing you can do is you can throw living wood through and you get dream wood. That's cool stuff. We're definitely going to take advantage of that. You get Dreamwood Twigs, which I'm sure are used for something. Um, the next thing you want to do is throw Mana Steel through, and you'll get Elementum. Elementum is used for stuff. Uh, mana Pearls turn into Pixie Dust. Block of Diamond turns into Dragonstone. And you could turn Quartz into Green Quartz, which has no use at all. You can also turn Mana Glass into Alf Glass. Uh, all kinds of stuff. This stuff. So let's go ahead, I'm going to take this whole, I'm going to take all the mana steel I have, and I'm just going to shove it right through this portal. There you go. Elves, give me stuff. And we're going to get some alimentum. And yeah, so we could just leave this going for a while. I do have my ring on, so that's pretty cool. Um, what else do we got in here? Do we have any pearls or anything like that that would be useful? We could go ahead and throw these mana diamonds through. Boop, boop, and we will get stuff back. They're really slow on returning it. These elves, they take their darn time, that's for sure. Well, thank you, elves. Uh, just, just feed it through real gingerly. There we go. We got our two things back. Okay, so we got 32 elementum from that, and we've got two 
Dragoon Stone. Now, I thought I had some mana pearls around here, but it doesn't appear that I do, but I can make some. Let's go ahead and grab some pixie dust too, because it is darn useful. So, boop, and shoop. Alright, we'll shove these through, we'll get a little pixie dust. And cool! Alright, that's about it for what we wanted to do with this Elven Gateway Core. Some of this stuff is very useful in the next tier of things. Um, you definitely need to use it to summon the Gaia Spirit. Um, the Gaia Spirit requires Elementum and this wrapped around to make a Gaia Pylon. There's lots of other cool stuff. We're going to get to that maybe in another episode. I'm going to spend probably a good while collecting these doodads. And now that, it, now that I'm kind of done, I'm just going to break it to conserve my mana. So we're going to do that. Because if you leave this running, it will eat through your mana. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop the process. Those elves. I'm very rude when I'm talking to the elves. I just hang up on them. I was like, see ya. Thanks for the stuff, nerds. <laughs> so yeah, I did use up my mana tablets doing that. So let's grab a fresh one. And cool. We're definitely going to have to wait for our mana reserves here to, to build back up. But what I want to do also between episodes is build this even higher. This needs to go as high as it can go because we, you know, once we get enough Terra Steel, we're not going to need mana production for a whole lot. But what we can do with the mana production is create energy out of it. So I want to, I want to maybe get a system like that set up. And if you see here, I'm just going to get rid of some stuff in my inventory. Get out of there. We're going to pull this stuff out and I'm going to make myself a big old battery. And we are going to hook it up to something that turns, what is it? turns something into something. It turns mana into redstone flux. So here is the recipe for a vibrant capacitor. It holds 25 million RF, so that is pretty awesome. And the next thing we want to do is make a mana flux field. And I think I already made one, but I can't remember where I put the dang thing, so I'm a little confused by that. Actually, let's look in our satchel. That seems like something I would put in a satchel. No, it's not in there, but there are two mana tablets in there, so that's kind of neat. All right, let's just make another one of these. They're pretty, I think they're pretty inexpensive. Inexpensive. All I need is a little bit of this. I need, actually, I think I need some mana steel. And I need four blocks of redstone. So down here is where I'm keeping my redstone. We'll just take two stacks of that. And with this redstone, um, essence, I can, I've got basically unlimited redstone right now. It is awesome. So let's do this. And I think I should just be able to click this thing in. There we go. Mana flux field. Very cool. So let's set this up maybe right here. And I'm actually going to let this replenish these mana pools in between episodes. But I just want to show you guys how this thing works because it's pretty cool. Basically, it's just a block, and when you point mana at it, it basically charges up connecting devices. So if I go here, this is an input, and it's connected right to the thing. And if I grab this old boy, click on him, and then click on that, the mana burst should start filling this up. So look at that. It is doing about 50 to 100 RF per tick. Oh, it just went out. Well, it's not steady, but it does a lot. Man Alive does it do. It does a pretty good job, and if I get this thing even taller, it will do an even better job. So you could just leave this running in a chunk-loaded spot, and, you know, all this mana that normally goes to waste could be turned into delicious redstone flux. Look at that, guys. Oh, hoochie mama. So guys, I think we're going to wrap up the episode there. Before we do that, let's go ahead and check off what we've done. Mana to energy. We've done Terra Steel. Oh, we've got so much more to do, guys. We definitely got to get started on compressing some cobblestone. And next episode, I really think we're going to get our Buildcraft Quarry set up way out here. And you guys may have seen this before, but I want to set up a quarry way out in this direction because there is a biome out here that... I need to ruin. This pink biome with these stupid pink cherry trees is going down, baby. I'm taking it out. 
And I'm gonna put a big old I'm gonna put a big old quarry in the middle of it, and then I'm gonna build a factory on top of that. So yeah, guys. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you handsome and gorgeous people ah, for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, give it a big old thumbs up. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Bye.